Now it's time to press buttons and talk with Maggie and Rosie D. Hey, hope you guys are enjoying your Christmases. Uh, is that where we are at this the point? Break? It's it's around that time. Okay. Um, we are you way guys are in probably the past. Still on. Yeah, this is like super in the past. So I haven't even bought presents yet. Yeah. Oh, jeez. But for you guys, it might be Christmas. Uh, it's almost definitely around that time. So I hope you're having a merry, jolly little time. Uh, we're still tired, but we're gonna we're gonna kill. I think it's no proof yet. I don't okay, think we have any it. proof yet. Yeah. It's no use showing evidence I'm not even sure of myself. No, Your Honor. At present, I have no conclusive evidence. Hmm. <laughs> CRG. In that case, this court is forced to penalize you for your allegations against the Chief. What? I don't gamble unless the stakes are high. It seems that Lady Luck was on my side again today. I don't know, you look pretty fucking guilty after okay, all that. Okay, Archie, I'll leave the rest to you. Bye. Okay, see ya. I warned you earlier, Mr. Wright. This is an Wait, what? Oh. Wah! <laughs> Lady Luck, hmm? Maybe we should have a word with her. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? There is one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. We haven't yet had the honor of hearing her testimony. A lady who knows the truth? Another witness! In the absence of conclusive evidence, the only other method of proof is testimony. But Chief Gant has invoked his right to refuse to testify! There is still someone else. One more witness who can answer all the questions Angel raised in Star? this trial. Angel Star? Someone right in this very room. Uh, me? Mr. Edgeworth, who is this person? Hmm. Why are you asking me, Your Honor? Have you forgotten? The defense is the one calling witnesses today. So get it right. Mr. Wright, does such a witness exist? Of course not. She may not be willing to tell the truth, but we can't just stop now. Yes, Your Honor. The defense calls for the oh, Mike Lana. Meekins. No. No, it's Lana. No. It's Lana Sky. Stop. No. The defendant is Lana Sky. She was in the underground parking lot at 5.15 p.m. on February 21st. Her task to dispose of the victim's body. In accordance with a certain someone's orders. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth? The prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Very well. The court will now take its final recess for the day. This will be the most fun. In 50... Oh, it will be. We will reconvene to hear the defendant's testimony. This court is now in re... Hold on! Hold on. Huh? <laughs> Chief Gant, I thought you were going to eat. I already ate. Listen good, Lana. He's talking to Lana. I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claim, there will be terrible consequences. Wow, that's not suspicious uh, at all. Yeah, like... That's right. Your sister will be found guilty. For Neil Marshall's murder. Ah! This isn't good. Oh my god, accidental murder is a thing. Yeah. Of course, you'd never support such outrageous claims anyway. Right. Just something to think about. Just something to chew on. Can we just call this guy guilty? Like, no, alright then. This is the most evil thing anyone's oh, ever got done in this courtroom. Uh, uh, uh. He just phased out of existence. And that was... Very suspicious. Okay, if there aren't any further objections. Even the judge is like, what the fuck? This court is now in recess. Yay! Oh, that's not having fun. I'm not enjoying he recess He got picked last at dodgeball, as always. Looks like we managed to stay in the game. Yeah, thanks to your help, Edgeworth. Hey, Gumshoe. That chief, he's something else, eh, pals? Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> I'm not a detective anymore. Oh, sorry. Mr. Gumshoe. Mr. Gumshoe! <laughs> Homeless Mr. Gumshoe. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I've already decided where to work now. At your office! Nope. My <laughs> office. That'd be pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> sure. I'll take the place of that top-knotted girl you used to work with. Could he mean... Maya? Still, looks like we're a lot of moves now. Chief Gant's done it again. How is it he always gets the upper hand? 
It's not fair he has the right to refuse to testify. That is, that is bullshit. extremely bullshit. Hmm. Settle down, right? Remember what the judge said? I remember him mumbling something incoherent at one point. I, he's saying a little bit too? I don't know. Risks. What did he mean by that? Is that what you got from that? I didn't know. I, I think I heard that. risks in there. It's simple. If the chief refuses to testify, the opposite also holds true. You mean he forfeits his right to say anything too? That's no. Nope. How'd you like my impression of Lana? <laughs> Emma, are you okay? I think the exclamation point should have tipped me off. Yeah, when I came to, I was in the medical office. I've been listening to the trial from the gallery. So she heard everything that's been going on. Um, Emma, I'm sorry for what I said before. No, don't be. It was the truth. You know, it's funny. I almost feel somehow relieved. Relieved? Yeah. Now I finally know what really happened. To think that all this time, my sister was being blackmailed by that terrible power man. And she did it all just to protect me. Ever since her appointment as chief prosecutor, everyone who knew her said she changed. Perhaps it was easier that way for her. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? To follow Chief Gan's orders, she must have shut herself up deep inside to force herself to do anything and everything the Chief told her to do. That must be why she became so cold. It was all my fault. It's all because I... I murdered Mr. Marshall. Hey, don't go blaming yourself now. If you want to blame anyone, blame society, pal. Okay, I'll blame the government. Chief Gant may be able to fool everyone else with his forgery, but he can't fool my memory. I remember now. I knocked Mr. Marshall into that armor. I... I see. Well, we better get back. It's time for the final act. Emma, why don't you wait, huh? No, I'm going with you. Hmm. I want to be there. When Lana tells the truth. Let's go, right. I've never seen her do that before. It's time to end this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. To be continued. And then this should probably be the final part. Maybe. I don't... I don't know. Maybe. It must be. It's not a lot left. Yeah. Maybe it'll be like five more trials. Maybe oh, we'll be here forever. Maybe another investigation phase. Now then. No, because we have three days. It's the final day. If we don't kill someone today, the demons will come back to Earth and punish us. Will the defendant, Ms. Lana Sky, please take the stand? There she is, Lana Sky. Ms. Lana Sky, you are the chief prosecutor. I'm sure you're aware of what is required of you. But Mr. Edgeworth, you already know everything. You know all that I've done these past two years. Please provide the court with your testimony, Miss Sky. And remember, you are under oath. We want to hear the truth. Of course, the truth. Lana, no matter what happens, I'll always be your sister. I don't think that it's possible to change that, actually. Now then, your testimony, if you will. First, tell us about your relationship with Gant. Everything hinges on your testimony. You're the only chance we have to get Gant. Gant and the Fabrication. I worked alongside Gant for years. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. God damn it, Lana! <laughs> I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. Uh, could you maybe, like... Do that again without lying so much? Mm, are you sure about this testimony? <laughs> Even the judge is like, you're lying. Your Honor, I'm confessing to a capital offense. Of course I'm sure. But Lana... If this is true, then that means Chief Gan has nothing to do with this. That's what I've been telling you from the beginning. Please, Mr. Wright, you've got to help her. She's sacrificing herself because of me. But what if she's telling the truth? She's not. I know my own sister. Whenever she speaks stiffly like that, 
she's hiding in something inside. I have this bracelet that lets me look oh, no, like not really yet. close. That stupid mechanic like doesn't come until uh, a bit later. <laughs> it's yeah. It's a shitty mechanic. Deep down, she's really screaming in agony. Yeah. This is no time to start second guessing myself. The defense may now begin its cross examination. Gant and the fabrication. Worked alongside Gant for years. Okay. Something in here has got to be like. Press that. Boss. There is truth. Ugh. But think about it, Miss Sky. You didn't murder Detective Goodman. You told me as much yesterday in jail. You still don't get it, do you, Mr. Wright? Any testimony you cannot present in court is as useless as idle gossip. Shit, who knows what our facial expression is? Probably sad. <laughs> I stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. And? Fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. All by myself. All by I can't myself. do it. All by myself. Did you do so to help your sister? Joe Dark was a serial killer. My sister also almost became his last victim that day. I didn't want that incident to ruin her life. But what she did was justifiable self-defense. If that exists in this crazy universe, she wouldn't have been charged with anything. That's not the point. Wait. If that's a thing, then what is her, like, issue? She was traumatized. There might be something else. She no. was traumatized that day, all because of that creep. That's why I couldn't forgive him. Lana! So that's why you fabricated the evidence two years ago. Found Prosecutor Marshall's body. I rearranged the crimes. Press that shit. You say you did this all by yourself? Yes. Would you mind telling us what you found when you arrived at the crime scene? It seems I was the first person to discover the scene. The broken prosecutor award knife was, stu was stuck in the victim's body. What? Ouch, ow! Damn it! But Prosecutor Marshall died from an unfortunate accident. That's only a situation you dreamed was possible. The reality is, it wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. Fantasize all you want, Mr. Wright, but I'll never change this statement. You mean, Prosecutor Marshall wound up being killed by Dark? Something like that. If that is so, what happened to the other murder weapon? Dark was carrying a switchblade knife. Oh, that was lying on the floor a little distance away. It was probably knocked away in the struggle. That's not how it went down. She's trying to cover up her lies with more lies. All just to protect me. So when you found the scene like this, what did you do? After all, this is what everything boils down to. Yes. Okay, I broke off the tip of Dark's knife planet. Ew. That'd be... Eh, uh, this goes. That'd be, like, really disturbing to do. You planted the tip of Dark's knife and in the And then you moved the body? But why? Why would you do that? I don't know, for fun. You of all people should know, Edgeworth. You've always had a good head on your shoulders. My head isn't that bad, but maybe I ought to ask for the sake of others. Um, why, why did, did you, you plant the knife, or why did you move the body? Why'd you plant the knife? Yeah. Yeah. So what's the point of that? But why did you do that? Come now, Mr. Wright. Even you should be able to figure it out. Very well, let's add this to the witness's testimony. The reason Miss Skye fabricated the knife. Knew the tip of the weapon found buried would be all the proof we needed. Uh... Okay. What? According to your testimony, Prosecutor Marshall's broken knife was the murder weapon, right? Yes, and leaving it, leaving it at that might point the blame away from Dark. I felt the most effective way to get him convicted would be by having the tip of his knife found inside the victim's body. So you... you buried it inside the victim's stab wound. Ew! Yes. Because I hated Dark for what he did. Hmm. Motivation wants to get Dark convicted. Go back. I feel like this is... Is there anything that would... Wait, so... Would have been all the proof we needed. What are the autopsy report? 
Uh, stabbed in the back, died from a punctured heart. You know, maybe it is the location. Maybe yeah, we need to switch it to that. that. Let's try switching it back. Um, Does the yeah, press here? I think, yeah, because. Burr, burr, burr! You playing the tip in that? Oh my god, that's gross! Uh, why'd you, why'd move, you move the body? When he showed up on the scene, where exactly was the victim's body? It was where you deduced it was, by Chief Gant's desk. But the body was found by your desk. Why did you move it there? The reason for that is simple. Let's have the witness explain this in more detail. Come on, just do it. The pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. Plan? Press that shit. What plan? You got a plan? Pieces of the jar? You mean... Yes, that wretched jar Mr. Wright showed us earlier. In order to show that Dark committed the crime, I felt it would be more expedient to move the body. So, when you first found the body, the jar was already... Of course, it had been shattered to pieces. If you looked at the crime scene, it would be clear right away what happened. Oh, oh no. Neil Marshall was dead, I'm and Superman. Dark was lying unconscious. In other words, the jar must have been broken during their struggle. I, I see. What's the matter, Emma? Apparently the jar shattered at the time the crime was committed. But I have a feeling there's more to it than that. There must be a contradiction here somewhere. Anyway, I committed this fabrication completely alone. Maybe on the next episode we'll present some evidence that, uh... That solves everything. Uh, Do you know what it is? I think I know. I think I know. Do you know? Do you know? Do we all know? Tell everyone in the comments what it's gonna be. <laughs> but don't look it up, because that then you're a loser. And if you already know the game, don't spoil it. Don't don't sh stop spoiling the game. Get out of that comment section. Delete your YouTube. Subscribe. Break your computer. Break your Leave heart. your house. Yeah. Go live in a ditch. Go live in a ditch. All y'all just live in the loser ditch. And tell your friends to subscribe. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna be gone, we need more subscribers in your place. So. <laughs> we gotta replace those numbers.